not me, you're that witch, Yennefer. That's it, Roach. That's it, Roach. What do you want? Want to talk to Blue Boy Lugos. <laughs> Hear that? He wants to talk to Lugos. What else, Vagrant? Care to plow Freya? Lugos is expecting me. Lead the way. Um, right. Come on. Why? I don't get it. Then stay here. Think it over. He's dead. Then he climbed in a barrel, sprinkled salt on his head, and said he was airing. Know the last time I had a Continental on my ship? No. When I hauled prisoners from Velen to the slave market in Nazar. Now, tell me why you're here. Your father felt you could use a witcher's help, and I owe him a favor, so... Told him not to meddle. Told him I'd manage fine on my own. Maybe that's not entirely true. Cave of Dreams. Supposed to be a dangerous place. Mortally so, but that's my reason for going there. Fine, so be it, I take you. 
Old man's like to throw a fit elsewise. Or he's about to go. You ready? We can go. Is it far? Nah, our stones throw. Let's gather the lads and go in. We'll know soon if there's truth to the legends. Girls, these are the best warriors in me crew. They'll come with us. You know Jarlf, called the Wolverine? Good day. And this here is Uv Jabberjaw. Why is Uv so quiet? Because he got no tongue. What happened? He lick a frozen blade? No. He tore it out because he cursed King Brand while drunk. Lost his power to speak, but kept his honor. Interesting customs you got here. Before we head off, will you tell me about this cave? You could at least tell me what we might have to fight. Only you can know that. Elders say in the Cave of Dreams you face your greatest fears. Face what makes you wake up at night, screaming. Something that's already been, will be, or just might be. I do wonder what a monster slayer fears. But we've talked enough, lads. Swords in hand. Let's go! Knackers and Skelliger. No idea. The totem! Right where it should be. Now's when we eat the herbs. Why would we do that? To go on. To where the nightmares are. So says the legend. And so we will do. Fine. Give him here. Take it. Oove. Yarlf, eat up. To the last grain. I don't feel no different. How about you, Oof? <laughs> You're asking a mute his opinion. You're feeling it, mate. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. A blue. A blue? With that short a snout? Carbs are robbed you, your senses. Telling your adventures. Thank you, my king. Me I shan't drink with you, old man. And I shan't call you king. Get off that throne while you've still strength in your decrepit bones. Oof. You can talk. I... I... I, I didn't... But, but I... <gasps> you insult me once more, old Jabberjaw. The first time I left you to punish yourself and retain your honor, but now... Now you'll die like a troll and eels will eat your remains. Let's dance. Come on, man! Whoever brings me to Jabberjaw's head will get a long ship to come on!
every few crests. I be those they got wings, these here. It's as if they're swimming through the air. cleared your flame. They couldn't clear my conscience. Let's go. Kill one more, but another crawls out. So is this yours? This a witcher's nightmare? Nope. This is daily life for us. Quiet, calm, suspicious. hundred times since then that you I... pissed yourself before the whole village the yarl son ha the shame should have punished you you're a vision a specter a vision of your dog who you fear because you know you don't live up to him you know you disappoint him i'm a better warrior than he ever was prove it you little shite Given me no choice. Who's a better warrior now? Who? Who goes leave him? He's only a vision crew.
Get up, Garrett. You've paid your debt. You're a free man. Gonna tell your father what you faced in the Cave of Dreams? Of course I will. I've no fear of him, right? It was an honor to fight at your side. Farewell, Garrett.
Slow now. Whoa. What happened to your father? He was cutting wood, and a bear attacked him. Show me where it happened. Over here, past the trees. Just gotta wait till someone shows up. Come on, lads, get to work. Grab him! Roach.
you! Greetings, traveler. Got back your stolen horn, and I, uh, killed the thieves. Shame that. They weren't evil men. Didn't give me a choice. Where's my reward? Take it. And next time, slay some damn monsters.
We meet again. So, you change your mind? Want to hunt the Rossbart brothers with me? Easy coin for you. Yeah, we can hunt them together. Run! Let's get going then. I've picked up their trail. They shouldn't be far. Not your lucky day. I like the way you die. Went well, I thought. Maybe you'd consider working together for a spell. Seems you have a gift for this kind of work. Thanks. Once is enough. So long. Watch yourself, white hair. Oh. <clears throat> Mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I... I am. Look, see it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse. Seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at. Can bring misfortune, even death. Aye. And the name carved upon it is Tialva. My firstborn. Boy's feverish. Grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but... No luck. I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. There's truth to that blather by the ice giant. A nithing. A powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Might want to look around. Tialza, now. son of Lothar. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. Would you mind my kiddies? Interest in me or something you can find the way out. You, Odin? I am. Hear about me, Sonny? Where should I look for your son? 
east of here, midst the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some rogues from Pharaoh, met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve, a cheerful lad, a bit of a lisp. Nothing special about his looks, except last I saw him he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely, none other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back, on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. What became of those nice barrel lads who went treasure hunting in the ruins? I don't know, but I'm afraid we shan't see him again. Oof, why are you talking like that? Uh -oh. Went down to the river to do my wash. Got there. Water was running red with blood. So he hey may have been gotten fish upstream. Wait, wait there. Come ah, take the gander. Dirty oaf. So. Greetings. Show me your... I'll be a priestess when I grow up. Don't want no stinky husband. Ever fight a dragon? Hey, boy. Call that welcome. Oi! Well, what is it? Greetings. Greetings. See you. Um, to have strength to the maybe last. Maybe just nothing here for you. for a snifter. At the inn. Where did you get that foolish notion? Lovely scar. Wanna see mine? Need more time in the aisles. Aye? What's it you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there, in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. Hey there, come take a gander. Found your shawl, near Lothar's house, by the nithen you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalv has got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride, but he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years, I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. Oh no, I have not been had, nor have I forgot. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. You know who placed the nithing? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So, will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay, never! My wife, 
My son, I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've got to break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Don't bring the gods into it. This is between two human beings. So? Did it work? It did. Your son should recover soon. And Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. My son's dearest of all to me. I couldn't abide it if he died. Your reward. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. Stranger. Mighty warrior, that. Ooh. Where are you walking? Ooh. 